Hey guys, I'm really loving having my athletic greens in these new plastic glasses, quote unquote. Is it a glass if it's plastic? I don't know. I got these in my Fat Fit Fun Box Bando. I don't know, it just kind of gives a we're at an outdoor party vibe. I had a pretty good night's rest last night. Very restorative. I think I'm recovering from the spring forward shocker. Comment below on if you're still trying to get adjusted. My problem is I don't like going to bed early at baseline. Then when they shift the time in which it gets dark, it screws me up royally because I cannot go to sleep if it's daylight out at all. I just feel like I'm missing out on what, I don't know. Um, and so I, it just shifts everything and me wanting to stay up an hour later than I need to. It takes me a while to get get used to the, the spring forward thing. And I heard there is a movement to do away with that. Although they've been talking about this for a long time <laughs> and it never really seems to come to fruition. So I'm jaded. I think we're gonna continue to deal with daylight savings time. But I know a lot of you guys in other countries, you're like, what is this madness? Yeah. It is associated with more fatalities, traffic fatalities, health problems, visits to the ER around the weeks following spring forward especially. So yeah, I mean, it's definitely something that we need to move away from. When you stay at a hotel or a bed and breakfast, you know how they kind of have like the continental breakfast set up? This is just kind of giving me those vibes, this little counter space thing I have going here with the glasses set up. Uh, these glass mugs I love drinking coffee or tea out of. And then these are the plastic shatterproof ones that came in FabFitFun. This is the little plate that I was telling you guys about that came in a FabFitFun box a while ago. I tell you, I get a lot of use out of stuff I get in there. This is dinner, this is just utensils. Um, I keep them out there because I think it looks cute, but I use these like for on the go. Well, hey guys, I'm on my way to Costco to get gas. I may go in, I'm not sure. I kind of need some things, but I'm on the fence. I haven't gotten gas in a while, but I keep hearing people talk about how the price of gas has gone up so much. So we'll see how much. <clears throat> All right, we're here in line for gas. Let's see how long this takes. Honestly, don't be intimidated by the Costco gas line. I find it moves fairly quickly. Costco is the only place I feel comfortable getting gas. A, because the price is consistently competitive with others around the area, but I will not get gas at like those shell stations uh, close to the freeway anymore because <clears throat> crime has gone up so much and those are like a hotbed of muggings like so i don't feel comfortable getting gas at those places i think they always have been but even more so now you guys i'm really concerned about this younger generation and their attention span being so shortened by all these social media apps i really think it's damaging one thing i have found on various platforms is that it really gives you a window into like society social inner social responses and interactions on like a much larger scale level and sometimes it can be eye-opening in fact overwhelming i just like i don't understand how people have gotten to a place where they react so with such limited information and they react so vehemently as though there's no other other way just look at how some sunscreen ingredients will get demonized randomly they'll just start squawking about them quite literally about certain sunscreen ingredients or a certain ingredient in a product they they run with it and they just spread it like wildfire like the olaplex preservative or whatever it was that fragrance in olaplex that the eu decided to remove something as simple as that just got that ran with like wildfire and it's just it's insane look you guys costco heard all of your comments about all the plastic and they at least switched over the cashews from that plastic tub to a bag so baby steps while there is a lot of plastic in costco stuff if i go to my grocery store everyone uses the plastic bags and double bags Whereas at Costco, they don't even 
have the option to have plastic bags. So I feel like, at least in my area, it does kind of balance out. These are new Eddie Bauer sleep sets. They look really comfortable. $19.99, that's a pretty good price. Honeydew. These look even lighter. How much are the honeydew ones? $15.99. Not too bad, honeydew, a cantaloupe. <laughs> That's a little fruit humor there. Those are cute. This is new, the rolling filing and storage card. $31.99. Then they have this Otlight Wellness Series wireless charging LED desk lamp, $44.99. These Sonic facial brushes, ever since, didn't, didn't the other one go out of business? What was it called? The, uh, I forget what it was called, Clarisonic. Here we have Conair, $29.99. I have these, well, not this exact pattern, but I love them. They're really handy. I like that they collapse. I use mine for other things besides laundry, too. Bellevue Artisan Candles. Hmm, I don't know about that fragrance. It's not really to my liking, but I like the containers. Oh, the backyard and pool float stuff is out. Doesn't that look like fun? The Striker 3. It looks like a lot of fun. You can flip it both ways to pull it behind a boat. Life preservers. Well guys, I just finished up in Kroger and I left you waiting with bated breath as to what my cost of gas turned out to be. <laughs> Get up there to the pump and I need to renew my membership card. So I waited in line all that time. Ended up going back in, shopping around, bought some stuff in Costco. And then by the time I checked out and got to my car, the line at the gas station was insane in the membrane. <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, I've got plenty of gas, but anyways. So I've really gotten into learning about the opioid epidemic because I feel like I've just been in a bubble about that because in Durham, I don't really prescribe much in the realm of that um, at all, really. I mean, anyways. And so I just feel like my eyes have been opened to so much in reading I'm reading this book while I'm listening to it on Audible right now called Dreamland. Between this and the other one I, I read, I read Dope Sick. Dope Sick was okay, but between that and this... Alright, I hit this construction area on a good, good time. We're going over some weird bump here. More weird bumps. And we're on an angle now, so... <laughs> Uh, man, I, now that we have sprung forward and it's light out longer, I am all still miscombobulated. Like, I feel like it's much earlier than it actually is. I never get acclimated to the spring forward thing because I am a night owl. I just am. Like, I really am a night owl. And I've just come to accept that about myself. But this whole spring forward thing, it really does not help my circadian rhythm whatsoever because I'm like wide awake when I should be getting ready to wind it down. Anyways, I filmed a video today for you guys about how your face changes with age. Aside from just skin aging that you see, you know, signs of sun damage like age spots, wrinkles, your face changes a lot too as a result of the redistribution of fat in the face, fat in your face, unlike the rest of your body, it's in these like little compartments and those, um, those decline independent of one another. And so it's not kind of an all at once loss, but what happens is as that fat is getting lost, you also have weakening of the underlying muscle attachments, the ligaments, and so all of that kind of just contributes to sagging. That's why you get your brows lower uniformly, and that actually can make you look uh, more, I don't know, serious. It makes your eyes look smaller. 
Your eyes appear smaller, rounder, and less almond shaped as a result of gravity. And that really doesn't have much to do with your skin per se, although UV rays, because the skin around the eyes in particular is so delicate, UV rays, they activate enzymes that chew up collagen in the deeper layers of the skin. So you've got that there too, and that, that's what leads to wrinkling. You know, the muscles around the eyes, they kind of contract like an accordion, and that's why you have uh, the crow's feet. To me, they're called crow's feet, but to me, they always reminded me of, did you ever fold fans when you were a child, accordion fold? That's what, what the whole wrinkling around the eyes always reminded me of. Anyways, I thought I would chit chat with you guys about that. Simply moisturizing, putting moisturizer around your eyes, and you don't need a separate eye cream, but simply putting moisturizer around your eyes like at nighttime, it can kind of help improve the look of wrinkles around the eyes related to age-related change. Speaking of moisturizer, I just hit pan on one of my favorites, the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream in the Tub. Yeah, I've got an empties video that this will go in coming up soon, but this is a long-standing favorite of mine and you know I've been using this on my face throughout this tub as well as my body and I have to say I do kind of know a little bit about what you guys are talking about with the burning and stinging for me it's just a little bit on the cheeks a lot of people say this product burns and stings uh, for me it's just a little bit on the cheeks but otherwise I tolerate it really well on the face um, but an alternative I've mentioned this a fair amount lately but this gold bond pure moisture daily body and face lotion this one has ceramides like CeraVe. Now that I've finished CeraVe, I'll just make my way through this, use it on my face and my body. Speaking of body, I've been using this. I bought it a while ago, actually, when I did that melatonin video for you all. I was like, I'm gonna give this a try, even though it has lavender in it, which is fragrance, and that can be irritating. And I have to say, this is a Gold Bond Overnight Deep Moisturizing um, product. It's got melatonin in it, which is an antioxidant that uh, may help in reducing oxidative stress, helping with like some of the visible signs of skin aging. It also has ceramides in it. It's got fragrance, it's got lavender, but it it's not a strong scent. It actually smells really nice and it's good. I wish they would make it fragrance free. It smells really nice. It kind of has a, almost like a coconutty undertone. I've been really impressed with this product. Aside from the fragrance, you know, I prefer to have fragrance free, but I thought I would share that with you guys since I have an empty here. Anyways, I'm going to wrap this vlog up. I hope you all are having a fantastic weekend. Why do I have one? <laughs> what am I going to do here? Get a shot? That's what, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I think I was going to moisturize the other arm because now I'm lopsided. All right, I got to do this before I close out the vlog. Otherwise, it'll just be weird. You guys will be like, did she only moisturize one arm? <laughs> I wanted to show you how it absorbs well. Ah, it does smell nice. Anyways, I'm going to wrap this vlog up here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much. For making it to the end it really helps the reach out of the videos the longer you watch them if you like this one give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and as always don't forget sunscreen and subscribe i'll talk to you guys tomorrow bye <laughs>